shows Leslie Nielsen as Lieutenant Hank Drebin, George Kennedy as Ted, and Walter Payton as Detective Norberger exit an unmarked squad car in a Holiday Inn parking lot. Nielsen gets a call on his cell phone. Nielsen, this is Lieutenant Hank Drebin. Cuts to John Candy as a parole officer sitting in an office wearing a short sleeve button down and tie who says, so it's Hank now, huh? Anyway, it's Burt Burton with Cook County Probation. You got eyes on those blue brothers yet? Nielsen. So now blue is singular, huh? Not yet. We just parked. I'll let you know. Nielsen hangs up. Kennedy. What are we doing here again, Frank? Nielsen interrupts and says, We are here, Ted, because there's two brothers with the last name Blue who have run afoul of the law. And some crooked parole officer has promised to overlook my recent failed drug test. We can track them down. Kennedy. Well, why are we here? Nielsen. They're on their way to recruit the Lounge Act here. Murph and the Magic Stones. To rejoin their R&B band. The Blue Brothers. Norberger. You go and guard the back door. Peyton. You got it, Hank. Nielsen. Ted. You get back in the car and text me when two men in black suits, ties, sunglasses, and fedoras get here in an old beat-up police car and follow them in. Kennedy. You got it for... Hank. Cuts to minutes later with Kennedy asleep and snoring in the squad car. Shows an old beat-up police car parked in the Holiday Inn lot and John Belushi and Peter Aykroyd exit the car in black suits ties, sunglasses, and fedoras. Cuts to inside the lounge with Leslie Nielsen sitting at a table. Shows Jan Hooks as a waitress who approaches Nielsen and asks, Anything to drink? Nielsen, I'll have the strongest thing you got. Michael Clark Duncan approaches and stands next to Hooks. Nielsen, on second thought, how about a white Russian? Hooks looks to the audience and shakes her head. Cuts to the stage where it shows Phil Hartman on keyboards and vocals, Jerry Garcia on guitar, Chris Barley on bass, Norm MacDonald on trombone, and John Bonham on drums. Hartman sings, Dime cuando tu vera, Dime cuando, cuando, cuando. Cuts back to Nielsen, who sees Aykroyd and Belushi enter the lounge, with Belushi holding a black suitcase, and they sit down at a table. Nielsen grabs Gilda Radner as a waitress as she walks by his table and says, Those two fellows over there are in trouble with the law. I'm a lieutenant undercover. Shows Aykroyd get up and go to the bathroom. Nielsen reaches into his suit pocket, pulls out pills, and says, Make sure to put these in their drinks for me to make bringing them in easier. Radner, am I really allowed to do that? Nielsen, if you don't spike those men's drinks with these sedatives, I can have you arrested for being an accomplice. Radner, I'm actually going to law school during the day? I don't think that's correct. Nielsen, okay. I'll just have to go with plan B then. Nielsen gets up, takes out his gun, and yells, Everybody down on the ground now! This is a robbery! Everyone gets down to the ground except Belushi. Nielsen gets a black garbage bag from a garbage can and begins forcing the lounge patrons to put their belongings in the bag. Nielsen walks up to Belushi, points his gun at him, and says, Open the briefcase. Belushi, I thought you were here to bring me in. Nielsen, we're spoofing a different movie now. Open it up. Belushi opens the case. Nielsen opens his mouth in shock and asks, Is that what I think it is? With his left hand, Belushi quickly grabs Nielsen's right hand, holding the gun, 
drags him down onto the table and places his own gun to Nielsen's face with his right hand. Walter Payton walks in and points a gun at Belushi. Aykroyd exits the bathroom and points his gun at Payton. Belushi. Now I got a bad motherfucking wallet in my pocket. And I'm going to give you my money. And let you keep these people's money. But I can't let you keep the case because it's not mine. You read the Bible? Nielsen. I never got through Genesis. Belushi, well, there's this passage I got memorized. And I will strike down upon thee with great vengeance and furious anger those who would attempt to poison and destroy my brothers. And you will know my name is the Lord when I say, Dead from the earth, we're not alive. It's Saturday Not Alive, starring John Belushi. Chris Farley, Phil Hartman, Jan Hooks, Norm McDonald, Gilda Radner, Danitra Vets, and many other special deceased contributors. Musical guest, Jefferson Airplane, and your host, Richard Pryor. Everybody, Richard Pryor. Applause, applause, applause. Pryor. Thank you, thank you. So this show here is an audio sketch comedy, right? Problem is, this motherfucker doing the audio, he ain't got no clue how to do my voice. I know he's white, but come on, man. He's making me sound like Gilda Radner or some shit. Come on now. And this white boy, man, he's putting words in all our motherfucking mouths. I'm not writing this shit, so don't look at me, okay? This dude's having me go on Jeopardy. He's having me push critical race theory. He's having me spoof Wayne's World and shit. And this motherfucker hasn't paid me a dime. You think I'm helping this bozo with this shit? Hell no! I'm spending my time trying to get my old lawyer's attention to sue this motherfucker. You want me to be a token Negro, brother? You better pay my ass. Whenever this show needs a black guy, he drags my name into it. Like when they want Barack Obama in a sketch. They come to me. Change will not come. If we wait for some other person or some other time, we are the ones we've been waiting for. We are the change that we seek. Now, white people, when they hear that, they be thinking, the only other Negro who says change that much is the bum out in front of the office. That Negro is always asking for change. We gave you Barack Obama. What more do you want? Now, I thought Barack Obama was a great president. Applause, applause, applause. But, man, how are you going to be in the White House that long and not have a sex scandal? What's that all about? I mean, I had a show, the Richard Pryor show. What, no applause? Fuck you people. Why are there so many dead white people in the audience anyway? Where's all the dead black people? Did they go and follow Harriet Tubman through the Underground Railroad to Paul Mooney's show down the street or something? Anyway, in my show, I had a sketch where I was the first black president. And I was holding a press conference. And a reporter asked me about being caught arm in arm with a bunch of white women. And she asked me if it would continue. I said if I could keep it up. Why do you think they called it the White House? So I don't know what to say with Obama. I set the brother up with a perfect line. Maybe he just needs some Viagra. No, but Barack Obama, he opened the door for all people of color, not just black people. 
I mean, right after we had the first black President Obama, we had Donald Trump as the first orange president. You know that has me thinking. George Takai, he could be the first yellow president. Or Sasha Littlefender, she could be the first red president. And you know, Barack got a little vanilla in there. So I'm thinking he's actually the first brown president. So maybe someone like Kevin Hart could be the first black president. And you know, that's not black like with Barack Obama, where they let you into the country club for affirmative action. That's Kevin Hart black, where cops are pulling your ass over because they got pissed watching a Civil War documentary the night before. And man, they didn't even let Kevin host the Oscars, because he said something about gay people. Now ain't that something? Man, I bet Billy Eichner says the N-word under his breath all the time. I bet Neil Patrick Harris crosses the street when he sees us. Man, I bet Elton John wants the school system to go back to being separate but equal. Anyway, we got a great show tonight. You remember the band Jefferson Airplane? They had about 14 members. Six of them are dead, so they're here. So if you need somebody to love, stick around and chase that white rabbit. Why that rabbit have to be white anyway? We'll be right back.